Hey guys, it's Steve. So today we're gonna do some beef back ribs. I'm gonna feature the Tango Spice Midnight Espresso Rub, which is really good on beef. And then we're gonna cook them on the Cook Shack electric smoker and make up a yummy little basing sauce. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and get our beef ribs prepped here. So obviously if uh, we were rating this video uh, on presentation, I would fail miserably. Typically you wanna get a whole rack of these beef back ribs. And uh, I ran up to Publix this morning. They always have full racks of them. And of course, the time I go up there cause I wanna do a video, they don't, but they had some, uh, some single packs with about three or four per pack. So. The end, the end result, it's not going to matter, again, just for if you're taking some high quality photos and whatnot, then it obviously looks a lot better to have a full rack. What I'm going to be using today is the Tango Spice Midnight Espresso. This uh, rub has all kinds of ingredients in it that are going to go really well with beef. I've used it on beef before. Joe would, uh, Tango Joe <clears throat> from Tango Spice would recommend you to use this on beef. It's got uh, sugar, ancho chilies, sea salt, espresso powder, coriander, black pepper, and oregano. So just some awesome flavors that are uh, in this rub. And really all the Tango Spice rubs are killer. So definitely check those out if you haven't. And um, one other thing that I wanted to point out uh, with getting the single packs like this, it makes it an absolute nightmare to get the dang membrane off. So it, it took me a while to try to get it off of each and every one of these. But it's crucial to do so because look how thick that membrane is. That's just, you do not want that on your ribs. I mean, that's just incredibly, incredibly thick. So make, do, make sure you're doing whatever you can to get that off. So what we're going to do is I've got some stone ground mustard and Dijon mustard just mixed together. So we're just going to get these little coat. And again, this just acts as a binder for our rub that we're going to use. And it'll allow these ribs to form up a nice crust on them. All right, so I've got uh, the tops and then the sides nice and covered. Let's go ahead and break these gloves off. And we're going to go ahead and hit these nice and heavy with the Midnight Espresso. Stuff has a gorgeous color on it and you're definitely going to pick up on the espresso right away. Definitely try this out on some beef. Let me know what you think. And then I'm going to flip it up and I don't like to waste good rub like this on the bottom of ribs, especially on these beef ribs because there's not really much back there. And so, flipping it up, getting the side a little bit. All right, so that'll do it for our rub here. Let me go ahead and pick one of these up and show you how awesome those look. Check that out. So what we're gonna do is I'm cooking these on the Smoke Shack electric cooker today. One of the things I really like about the electric smokers is that you can, uh, the particular model I have gets all the way down to 140. So I'm going to cook these at 200 degrees. A lot of guys actually cook beef ribs even like 180, 190. So the idea here on beef, beef back ribs is cooking them just super low and slow. So we're going to go ahead and get our cook shack up to temp. I'm using some cherry wood today because cherry wood goes really great with beef and uh, we'll pick back up in a second. All right, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and whip up a nice little basting sauce for our beef ribs. This is just a Derek Rich's recipes from barbecueabout.com. That, that website is so ranked up in Google, typically speaking, whenever you search for anything, the about.com is one of the first things that come up. But Derek has a lot of great recipes uh, for uh, barbecue and rubs, marinades, sauces, all kinds of good stuff. So. This one right here, uh, you guys should have most of these ingredients in your kitchen, really straightforward. And 
We're going to use some to base these beef back ribs a couple times during the cooking process. And then uh, as a finishing sauce right before we serve them. So what I've done to kind of save a little bit of time in this bowl right here, I've got a half cup each of cider vinegar, soy sauce, water, and Worcestershire. So we're just going to put all these in here. All right, now for our herbs and spices and sugars. I'll just walk down the line. We have a uh, so two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then we've got a tablespoon right here of regular table sugar. Then we've got four tablespoons of paprika. Two tablespoons of chili powder. Two tablespoons of black pepper. Two tablespoons of cumin. Two tablespoons of salt. One tablespoon of oregano. And then lastly, this is one teaspoon of cayenne. You can leave this out if you want. It just adds a little bit of heat for you. Okay? Set this aside. And all we're going to do is mix this up. Has some great, great flavor coming off of it that you can smell. And all we're going to do is just sit this aside and uh, hit our ribs with it a couple times. Alright, so we've got our cook shack up to 200 degrees. Again, I'm using some cherry wood. And I'm going to place these ribs right over my drip pan down below. Gosh, these smell so good. All right, so we're going to get this lid shut, and these are going to go about six hours, but probably in about uh, once an hour, I'm going to base these ribs. All right, guys, it's been right at an hour, so we're going to go ahead and give our ribs a little mop here. Get those nice and basted. Man, these smell amazing. And we're just going to continue this process about once every hour. Let these guys keep going. Alright guys, our ribs are done. They, they smoked about a total of five and a half hours. What I'm going to do is just give these one more last base. Because um, I'm going to let these rest for about ten minutes or so. And then we're going to pick back up in the kitchen and check these things out. These look amazing. Wish you guys were here to eat them with me. Alright guys, so I went ahead and let these rest a couple minutes. These look amazing. Awesome looking bark that just formed. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna take a bite here. Mmm. Look how tender that is. That just fell right off the bone. Let me take another bite. Mm. That midnight espresso was absolutely amazing on these beef ribs, and I'll be honest, you um, you know you saw me when I rubbed them down. I caked, I caked the rub on there pretty good. That actually gave these a nice little kick to them, and then the uh, the mop that had a little bit of cayenne, not too much, and some pepper left these with a good little flavor. So uh, I think the key to these being this tender was just, you know, basting them once an hour and going really low and slow. It ended up being about five and a half, about five and a half hours. So great cook, uh, successful, uh, and um, definitely uh, give the uh, Midnight Espresso Rub a try. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you again soon.